Oh, the test today went extremely well. We were very pleased it, uh, it came out of the aircraft as planned. It deployed, it went through its reefing stages. Uh, it was just spectacular. Everything was picture perfect. Today we extracted a 78,000 pound payload from the uh, C-17 aircraft. Uh, that 78,000 pounds is the, the largest single load that's ever been extracted from a C-17. The NASA testing exceeds the limits of the Army testing by almost twofold because we're at 78,000 pounds for this and that's double of what the Army testing is. It's pretty exciting because we, this is not an everyday occurrence. We do this uh, once every six to eight, ten months and it's also the record-breaking drop for a C-17, the heaviest extracted load out of that aircraft uh, we've ever done. It's pretty exciting at UMIC because it's not something we get to see every day out of our standard airdrop, standard testing on base. And it gets a lot of, uh, gets a lot of attention from the colonel too. The Drogue Parachute is the strongest of the Ares parachutes and uh, its, its strengths are required because the, the booster is uh, traveling so fast at the time it's deployed. Uh, it, it needs to be able to take a load in excess of 400,000 pounds. When the Drogue deploys, we're going in excess of 500 miles an hour. Yeah, this test today with our drogue, with our 68-foot uh, drogue parachute, was our design load test. This is where we actually put a, a a load on the chute equivalent to what its design capability is, so we can test the structural integrity of the chute. And the data will be used then to validate, support our critical design review that's going to happen later this year. So, to get this kind of a load on a chute at 25,000 feet, we needed a massive amount of weight, and uh, this is the single the heaviest single uh, payload ever to be extracted out of an Air Force C-17 to date.